Today we are going to be exploring eight yoga poses that you've probably never seen or probably never heard of. Let's go. So this happened somewhere along the way. Welcome to Yoga with Danny. Today we will be teaching you and exploring eight yoga poses that can benefit your body and that can change your body fast. So let's get yoga -ing. The first yoga pose we're going to do is called the Downward Dog. Now I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this yoga pose and it can be very beneficial for your arms, your back, and your legs. Let's get started. So first thing you need for the downward dog is a little dog, like this. Now you pet her on her head, scrub her ears, and rub her tummy. Good, now your dog is calm. Oh no! Make sure to never drop your dog, because your dog won't be calm anymore. Now to calm your dog down, use an elephant tranquilizer dot. Ah. Okay, now, let's jump free. My stop pupil, you gotta set an example for the rest. Ah, ah. Okay, now bring your dog up like in Lion King where the baboon raises Simba. Bahas Gabinya! Now bring your dog down, 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 now, downward dog. Down, 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 this next yoga pose is called the tree. So grab some clothes and a scarf. And now uh, let's get let's get started. Pretend you are a tree. Tall. Stand on your tippy toes. Your toes are your roots and your leaves are your leaves. There's a gentle breeze blowing on a bright sunny day. Then suddenly the clouds cover the sky. Thunder booms, a lightning strikes, and a strong wind howls. Now wave your branches super hard while standing on your tippy toes. Oh no, the wind is blowing super hard. Tilt, 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 tilt your tree. Ah, ah. Wave it harder, harder. Wait. The hurricane is over. The trees have survived. Oh no, there's an ice storm. Trees. What do trees do during ice storms? Oh no, they die. They break down. Trees. Make your branches fall off. <laughs> Oh no, there's another hurricane. Wave your branches. Oh! Oh no, you lost one of your roots. Stand on one leg. Oh no, you're being cut down. Ah, deforestation, global warming. Ah, fall down slowly. Ah. Yeah. Fall down slowly, my stop pupil. Fall down like a star. And that, my people, is how you do the tree. <laughs> Up your bones. This is what we call the double pillow beating. You need a partner for this. So we do stand still like in the tree pose. Now, you take turns hitting each other. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do you guys get the idea? Good. Now let's do Let's do it. Five more times. One. Yo, Jeffrey. Five more times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait. I think we did it more than five times, okay? Okay, let's stop now. That's my children, that's how you do the, the twin pillow beating. This move is what we call warrior's beating. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself at the bottom of the ocean. You're running out of breath. You can't get up, you're about to die. You're running in the ocean. Yeah, you're running in the ocean, yeah. Okay, now have your partner, Jeff. I'm sorry, Jeff. Now have your partner tase you, and you have to try not to laugh and keep your position. With many years of practice, one can master this act. This is one of the most difficult yoga poses. Ah! Just try not to laugh when you concentrate. 
You're running out of breath in the ocean, running, running in underwater. <laughs> this next yoga move, I bet you probably have never heard of it or even seen it. It's called Break Your Face, and for good reasons. We highly recommend this move for beginners. Yeah, beginners. So basically what this move is, so you get into like a turtle position or a rock position, whatever you call it. Right? It's kind of like that, but now you're doing a handstand while in that position. Confusing, right? So let me show you. And also, by the way, make sure to tuck in your shirt because you don't want your underwear to show. There. So turtle position, handstand. So it's basically what a turtle will look like while doing a handstand. Roughly, roughly. You suck! You suck! Oh! That was so close, I almost flipped over. You suck! So you've got to find a center of balance whatever that is, to balance yourself so you won't fall forward like what I just did there. What I did there was a, a planned out demonstration for all your viewers. I don't think you have a balance. <laughs> balance. You don't have one. I'm trying to hold in my fart, buddy. <laughs> fart and fart the back. You know, okay, watch. I'm, I can do it for probably three seconds, but if you practice it enough, you can do it for an hour or two. <laughs> you saw <switch> symptoms. <laughs> And yeah, that's basically it. This can actually help you. Hey, you saw your symptoms. Build uh, muscle strength and also help you with balancing onto your head. I'm sorry, when I was upside down, my spit ran up my nostrils. Disgusting. This move is called disappointed with your life choices. So basically, you just go like that. And look yeah. very, very disappointed. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this yoga move and have pretty much every single phys ed class have you guys have done this before. It's it goes by the name of a lot of names actually. Electric chair, heated chair, air chair. But we have a name for it, and it's called the burning thighs of hell. Yeah! Because your thighs are burning. Yeah! Like on the stove. Yeah! Like in hell. Yeah! So, that's about it. That's all you do. But we have some really good recommendations for you guys. If you are a beginning, if you just started yoga, this move is not recommended for you to do. Maybe you can, you guys can practice, beginners can practice it for two minutes at a time, but experienced yoga professionals such as myself and Jeffrey who is also one of our students I I'm better than you No you are <laughs> And we can actually hold it for much longer without our legs breaking away or burning Okay let's get started so what you do is pretend that there's a chair here and let's sit down Now after 10 seconds your thighs are gonna burn to burn. hell No after like two minutes, your thighs are really gonna burn. They're gonna feel like they're on fire. They're gonna feel like they're down there in the underworld. Yeah, it's cold. So hell. we have some advice for you to help improve your experience with the uh, burning thighs of hell. Now this is always done better with puppies and kittens because those puppies and kittens will make everything better, right? Yeah. So grab your puppies and kittens. Okay. Are you guys ready? No. I have. Let me introduce you guys to all my puppies. This is Xiaohua. This is Spike. This is Jennifer. This is Doggy. Uh, this is Fluffy. This is Lucy. I call this, this is Johnny. You. I call this you. Go shut up your mouth. Okay, okay. What about your cats? Kittens. I give them one name. I call them cat. Okay. Obviously you love them very much. Okay, now let's do it for two minutes. Three, two, one. Go. One, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, three, ah, uh, four, I Johnny. Uh, five, ah, uh, six, ah. Uh, what well, my cat suicided? Oh, that was pretty sad. Oh, that was pretty sad. Four, ah, uh, five, ah, uh, six, ah, uh, seven, ah, uh, No, guys, well, remember, puppies. And now kittens. three of them are going suicide. Okay, they suicided. Uh, oh, it looks like I still have two left. Remember, puppies and kittens, they're not light. Some of them are really heavy, like Johnny. 
Not because he's obese, but because he's big. Ah. That's like four kittens are going to die. Oh, well. Look, you I'm clearly gonna... don't care enough for your kittens. Why else yeah, would they? Yeah, they're too old with it. Ah. I love you, huh? I'm getting taste. I'm getting taste, huh? That's called true hell. Hey, don't tell Getting taste? That's basically the warrior. Fine, Dad. Die, die, die. I practice so. Oh, wow. I call this the armpit tickle. Ah. Armpit tickle. Ah! Um, this one won't die, but I'm just going to drop right here. I call this Arpitico. No! Spike! Uh, okay, yeah, that, uh, just, that's around you. No! 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 No, Fluffy! Yeah! Okay, remember, puppies and kittens are squirmy, so they may be harder, but they are just so cute. On to the next one! Okay, to end off today's yoga session. Uh, Jeff, are you oh, ready? Oh, 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 oh. We're going to end it off with a very complicated yoga move. But even you beginners can master it if you practice every day. I'm, I, you know, legend says that I mastered it in five minutes. I mastered it. Over here, Jeff mastered it over his two years of training. It's called one Jeff. second. Two years of training. One second. So basically, this move is called being tied down to. It's called tied down to railway tracks while a train comes and runs you runs you over, and you're now roadkill and dead. So, now to do this move, you gotta have ultimate flexibility, breathing, and balance. What you do is first you pull one leg up, then you pull one arm out like that and rest it on the ground. Then you put the other arm out, rest it on the ground. Then you put the other leg up, and then you slowly, gently lower your head. Ow! There you go. <laughs> There you go. Now this is it. Lamborghini. The most. <laughs> Jeff, can you please stop punching your master? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for Danny's yoga class. Join us next time for more. Yeah, join us next time. If you guys like that video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. It's you guys who motivate us each day to keep on creating new content. And I will see you next time. Also, if you liked watching our comedy skits, you might want to check out Garrett Lawrence's channel. Make sure to subscribe to him. And, and I think you guys might like it because he also creates skits and other cool videos for you guys to watch he currently sits at 200 subscribers